Okay guys, so where do I begin? I'm gonna just chit chat with you about my interview that I just had with Bikini Beans. So if you guys don't know, really quick, some backstory on myself and then Bikini Beans. Backstory on myself, my name's Sydney. I've never had a actual job that I've had to like be interviewed for, hired for, um, or anything like that. Like anything that I've ever done, it's always been myself being my own boss, myself being my own boss, myself making YouTube videos, myself not listening to other people. Um, so like, it's just my background is I need a real job, but I've never had one and I've always wanted one. But then I've also never had enough time because like the way that I live my life is like summer is usually when people get jobs. And this is the first summer that I've actually not been traveling a ton. And it's so weird. I've been using like my friends that aren't working either as like a little bit of a crutch to like hang out with them, not be alone, keep myself busy. Cause normally I'm like traveling. So that's a little bit of backstory about me. If you guys are new to my channel, hey, welcome. My name's Fit Sid. With that being said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And if you guys are trying to get a job and you guys are interested about interviews or you're trying to specifically work at a Bikini Beans or anywhere where they show your body or you feel like it's hard to like do an interview in a bikini, then I hope this video helps you out. So with that being said, a little that's a little background on me. Um, I've also never done an interview before. I've always been like I've never had that pressure of like having try to try and impress someone and I've never had questions where I'm good at answering them on the spot like I'm someone that's just like wow I should have said that that would have been a lot better but it doesn't work for me so that was my first real interview today now some backstory on bikini beans so for those of you that don't know there was a couple that lived in Washington they saw an idea they were like oh my god Arizona which is where they moved needs a coffee shop that has girls in bikinis like dutch bros if you guys know dutch bros it's like a coffee stand um they're super nice they're they spread positivity but like bikini beans is in between like a normal coffee stand dutch bros and the girls wear bikinis and it's empowering women so the big thing is like they're inclusive they empower women and they genuinely like want to have a positive environment so that's why i went and interviewed with them for my first one because as you guys may or may not know i'm someone that doesn't think objectifying women means that you need to be wearing a bikini to be objectified i really feel like just like people just assume that when you're wearing a bikini you're slutty and i like that this company they are trying to change that and their morals are totally different which is why i'd love to work there gain confidence get tips and be able to do something out of my comfort zone but then also have like coffee and drinks and you know so with that being said that is what bikini beans is they have four locations here in arizona there's a couple couple other like concepts that are similar that are in other states but this one just is awesome like i think more people need to know about it like none of my friends knew about bikini beans so now let's go into the interview process, how I got the interview and how surprised I was, honestly. So I have never, number one, done a resume, a cover letter, um, or like turned something in for a job because I've always been my own boss. Even when I get sponsorships, you don't turn in a cover letter. You don't turn in a resume. They see your channel and then they're like, yeah, we want you to talk about blah, blah, blah. Or we know that you love wild tonic. So we want you to work with us. But so basically this was a whole new experience for me because as you guys may or may not know like I have never worked for anything that was like a real corporate job or a franchise or something that has like rules let alone been to an interview so I have no previous experience so going into this I was like well uh if this interview goes really poorly oh well so first of all I went to their website their website they have a careers tab like a lot of uh places do like Twin Peaks, Tilted Kill, Bikini Beans, um hooters i think has a career tab dutch bros flower child fox restaurant concepts like any of those places that i've been kind of like i haven't been looking at hooters personally but like those are places that they have a careers tab you know like uh, nectar juice bar has a careers tab but all of these places have career tabs so you can see like what their morals are what their mission is how you apply um and the application and stuff so 
specifically for bikini beans which is kind of what I'm gonna be just mainly talking about for this interview because it is my first one first of all I knew that this was one of the places I wanted to apply to because as you guys know I wanted to boost my confidence have like a fun social job and I feel like I'm pretty good with people and when you have uh, boobs like even if your body is not as great as like another girl in a bikini like it's still a bikini body so this is so first of all I want to mention really quickly before I go any further into this video the process of getting the interview I have never done that before they have a totally different concept than like uh, tilted kilt or hooters or like any of those places but specifically for bikini beans you literally direct message them on you can either email them direct message them on Instagram or Facebook so there's three ways of doing it you don't really like you can come in but there's no application to fill out and I think it's kind of cool because I think that this is more based on like getting to know you and seeing how you look so I applied via Instagram off my fitness account because uh, my stocking Sydney account it just like has a weird name and I really d I didn't I feel like my fitness one kind of represented me a lot better um so so I DM them on Instagram and then I was like hey like my name's Sydney I just wanted to apply for a job I was wondering what the rest of the process was and then they were like hey Sydney um thank you so much for reaching out are you free tomorrow at one and I was like so surprised because it was probably an hour after I DM them they DM me pretty quickly back and they said that and I was like yeah I can be free whenever like one o'clock tomorrow like literally already an interview so I'm not having to freak out for a whole week I'm down for that so they're opening two new locations so right now they have two that are open but they have two that are opening like next month so it, right now they're finding people for those locations and there's people that will probably be like moving to that and like new people going into the other ones um and they have the two new the two locations that are open right now work best for me so like the training process right now will be perfect because in a month they're gonna have all the ogs probably like move to other locations so okay now getting into the interview so i didn't have that long to worry and prep for this so i did my resume i did my cover letter and then for those of you that are interested i literally got one of these and put my resume and cover letter in here even though it's a barista or anything like that like I just wanted to represent myself in the best way possible and I felt like this would give me an upper hand over someone who doesn't even have a resume and cover letter there we go I got one so I had that I came prepared and then they also direct messaged me I asked them again and I was like hey like is there anything that I should bring and it's a bikini place so I wasn't sure if they're gonna give me a swimsuit to try on or if they were gonna make me wear one so like of my own so thank god they said to bring one of my own because i'm gonna be really honest with you guys like i cannot wear like just string so first thing that happens is like i thought they're gonna have us wear the swimsuit after the interview or like show us and then put our clothes on and then interview no we get in there and she's literally like and it wasn't rude at all so like don't think that but she i get there 30 minutes early and she's like all right, you can just come into the stand and I get in and she's like here is a cubby put your stuff in there and go to the bathroom and change into your bikini and I was literally like what are we doing like bikini first and so first I get into my bikini so I wore a shirt and I wore black shorts and I wore a shirt that says breakfast and squats on the top and it's like gray actually it's right here because I stripped when I got home so you guys could right here so I just wore this shirt and then I had this underneath. So this is the swimsuit that I wore. Do, 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 do. Let's push this back a little bit. This is the swimsuit that I wore. This is the bikini body that I personally have. So going into this, I was already like, okay, I'm going to have to show them my body. And like, I'm someone that for so long when I was in high school, I did not want to like do i wanted to work at a place like this so badly but i just felt like my body wasn't worth it so i was like you know what Cindy, you've literally been wanting to do this since high school just go for it you are about to be a sophomore at asu like if you can't do this now like there's you're never gonna be able to do it so rather than saying oh, i'm gonna lose 20 more pounds and then go in i was like you know what i'm gonna rock my body and i'm gonna do this so first thing we change into the bikini i'm sitting there and she gets stools so i don't know if you guys know this but chairs like this much easier to sit and talk in a lot more flattering because it like holds your butt whereas when you're sitting in a stool you're like kind of hunched a little bit so i was like sitting more like this when i realized i probably should have been sitting like this so she asked me first of all she went down through the line of like why do you want to work here um what else did she ask why do you want to work here 
what are your like plans how long do you want to work here um tell me about yourself she literally did that and i didn't it, it was hard because like i didn't want to seem like i was like pushing myself too much but at the same time you are selling yourself to this person and i've never done an interview and then what else i'm just trying to think of like what else i've done so like i kind of told her about myself first and then she asked me about scenarios. So she started saying things like, how would you react if a customer did blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh God, I have to answer these questions. And I've been told before by my friends who have had interviews, like this stuff happens. So I kind of like expected it, but I didn't know what they were gonna ask. So she was like, how would you deal with an unhappy customer? Or, and then she asked like, how does customer service work? And I, my answer to that, which I mean, I am still waiting on them calling me back. So like, who knows, but my answer was like customer service starts and like ends i didn't talk this way but it starts the moment that you see their car drive up like it starts the entire time basically is what i said the moment their car drives up to the moment they are literally pulling away you don't stop smiling you don't stop treating them like they're you know your number one priority and then i told her like about things that i'm good at like i'm really good at focusing and multitasking which is something that like you know fast-paced environment you need to be good at i gave her like real life examples for some things because she's like well give me an example for that so that happened and then and then like things started getting busy so we had to go to the front and continue talking and it was really nice it was kind of hard because this was my first interview so i wasn't sure if i should like be extra bubbly because i can be very charismatic and like uh, I just but I didn't want to come off too strong because I didn't know like when I'm working you guys and I vibe off of everyone else like I can come off so strong like I can be someone that you're just like how do you have that much energy but I didn't want to come off that way because I was like what I I don't know how this interview thing works so sorry I'm fixing my boobs <laughs> so then after that uh interview part that was like the questions part then she was like all right, so now the next thing is, and keep in mind the whole time I'm in my bikini, I'm literally wearing this, telling her my hopes, my dreams, my goals. Then she's like, all right, now it's time for a picture. And then she was like, and I'm also gonna make you a drink, my favorite part. She was like, I'm gonna, like, you get to pick the drink, blah, blah, blah. So then we take a picture and I will insert the picture right here. This is the picture she took and I'm guessing that this picture goes to the people that own the stands. They want to know what you look like. I don't, here's the hard part. The hard part for me is that I am very photogenic, but I didn't want to take it in like perfect lighting, perfect everything, because even though you show your best face, I didn't know what this photo was for and I didn't want to seem picky. Um, so I just let her take the picture and then she's like, do you like this picture? I was like, yeah, I love it. I'm easygoing because I am, I don't care and I'm not picky. But then I realized she was like, all right, text it to me. And when I texted it to her, I sent her my first and last name so she can remember it. And then my picture and then she's going to call me i think if i get the job or if i don't i think it's all based on looks like after you pass the whole personality work ethic that type of thing they also asked uh what do you think work ethic means to you or whatever and so that was kind of that whole situation and i'm going to be really honest with you guys like it was nerve-wracking because for me that was my first interview and i was in a bikini and all these girls are gorgeous like there was this girl named Lindsay that was working at the stand and she was just like so pretty and had most beautiful eyes and like a gorgeous body and everything and so it was one of those things where it was like I knew that like the girls that work there are just stunning and um, they just took a picture of me and they're sending it to the people so like who knows if I'll get a call back whether I'm working whether I get the job or not I honestly hope I do because I feel like it'd be a really good experience for me I do have one more uh, interview on Sunday at 1 and i just hope that it can if the universe wants me to have this job i'll get it but that's so anyway that was like the experience then they made me a drink i got the nude which is basically caramel coffee and milk iced and honestly this coffee is so good they also another thing about bikini beans their sizing is a cup b cup c cup double d cup and so obviously like I think they have like great humor. I think it's awesome. I think that the whole concept behind it is amazing. I definitely do think though that like their marketing needs to get better. So if I do work there, even if I don't work there, like I might end up reaching out to the owners and being like, hey, I have some ideas for you. Cause like honestly, they post at least seven times a day and I would gladly be like one of the girls they post on Instagram or like help take the pictures of the other girls. Like I really don't care, but 
being part of that and having those types of skills too i know that that's really important to them because social media is the only way that they get the word out there and they have they're doing very well like i think they have awesome like they have an awesome concept there but um yeah i don't think i'm missing anything else now i'm just playing a waiting game of do did i get the job did i not i have one more interview i only am doing two right now because i just want to see if i can get a job and yeah i'm not really like trying to push too hard because i know that for me like if i get if i get one of them to call me back i'll be happy i don't need two jobs so with that being said i hope that you guys oh another thing too really quickly before i end this the pay is $10 an hour, and then usually you average at like $8 or $15 in tips per hour. And then if you're like during peak time, like if you're in the morning, sometimes you average at like 100 when you leave your shift, which I mean is not bad at all, but, and they also don't tax that. You have to like claim it on your own taxes. So I'm just waiting to hear back from that. And uh, yeah, the crazy thing is I DM them on Instagram and that's how it all started. Like this was such a cool concept and then I feel like I got over the fear of interviewing because I was in my bikini. I DM them on Instagram and it was just like a fun, cool concept and they're based in Arizona. It's not a huge corporation or anything. So I'm just really excited to see what the future holds, even if this interview doesn't work out. If you, I hope this helped you guys out. If you guys are planning on wanting to work here, like I hope this gives you some insight on how Bikini Beans works. And uh, yeah, so I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye babes.